What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are in Nova Scotia, Canada. We just got here, and we rented a house about a mile over there. It's a little cottage overlooking this bay. Well, we went cruising around, and we found these dudes here earlier today that were fishing for striped bass. Come to find out, they're in season. We're allowed three of them in between 19 and a half and 25 and a half inches. So we just bombed some bait. That's a herring that kind of smells rotten. That's a fishing pole that we borrowed from some guy. And we have probably the most rancid rig ever. All we've got is a little hook, a little piece of monofilament, and I took a knife from the house that we're renting. So I'm just gonna, mm, that looks good. Just use that. I wanna catch a striped bass, but here's my question. What's your guess? What do you think I'm gonna catch and do you think I'm gonna catch anything at all? But more importantly, drop a thumbs up if you wish you were out here on the edge of this water fishing with me right now. Because it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if I'm fishing on a dock, on a boat, off the beach. I love to fish. I love to just go, explore, do new things, and have a good time. Sarah's back at the house right now getting the girls all cleaned up and um, and we're having a great day. Now, let's see if we catch anything. So right now we have this current pushing out and I imagine these sea bass are just out there forging on the bottom looking for anything, any unsuspecting bait fish or chunks, anything, anything coming out that they can fit in their mouth and eat. That's what I think they're doing. But I have no experience and I have no reason for believing that. I just believe that. So, we'll see. We put them out there. Jesse is the first on the board. Yeah. Come over here, come over here. Let's, I'll get down on the, oh, on the rocks. Oh, beautiful striped bass. Whoa. Don't reel them in too high. Come over here. Come right over here. I'm going to get down on the rocks. Oh. Wow. Yeah. No, don't lift them up too high. Okay. Everything is slippery here. No way! Jesse! Yes! No, I can't follow in the water though. Why are we so addicted to fishing? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. I don't want to fall in. Um. Get out on that square one. Right? Hold on, hold on. No, I'm not getting out there. <laughs> Here, bring him over here. I'm gonna try to slide. Oh, it's a striped bass. Hold on. Hold on, let the water come up a little bit. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. The trip before the trip. We're like, hey, let's go try to fish before we go tuna fishing. And she's like, I don't know how to do it. I'm like, just hold the rod. Next thing you know, oh, got him on. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to try to get up without killing myself, but that is going to be dinner. Heck yeah. Now let's try not to get killed. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that girl. All right. Now let me see how big he is. Oh, now I just need to catch one about this big. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, we're in Nova Scotia. Come here, fly. This is who we're going to be tuna fishing with. This is the crazy Cuban, Fly Navarro. <laughs> Check him out on Instagram, Facebook, and every other social media platform in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> um, dude, we're so soaked. We're going to be tuna fishing tomorrow morning. Do you think it's going to be good or bad or ugly? What do you think? It's going to be a beautiful day. We can never guarantee what we're going to catch, but we're going to guarantee you're going to have a good time. I guarantee we just caught a striper. What? It'll be very embarrassing if I go back to the house and tell my wife that Jesse outfished me. I'll see you get the grand slam. So this is fun. This is what I want to know. Do you enjoy just simple videos like this where we travel around, go check something out? I mean, this is nothing fancy. These are rods that we borrowed from him. Austin ran over to Walmart, bought some hooks and weights, and we got a couple of dead herring. 
We just come out here fishing. Oh heck, there he goes. There he is. Got him. What do I have? What do is I have? Is it the striper have? or is it the third one? Oh. The slam? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Oh, dude, look at him. He's got a bunch of pretty colors. Oh, that's kind of neat. There you go. Pretty fish. This is not fair, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you got here? Oh my Baby gosh. Striper. It's the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> awesome. Reel, reel really? all the way down to him, reel all the way down low, and then pick him all the way up here. Right, right up, right up and in. One giant swing. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> no way, are you kidding me? What did you just ask for? You just for? said it. I just said, man, I sure wish we catch one more striper. She goes, really? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. This is so cool. Got him hooked perfect, too. Hold on. <laughs> Pretty work, girl. Thank you so much for all your help with the girls and what you do for us. It's really exciting to have you out here fishing with us. I love this opportunity. Give me a kiss. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so exciting you guys so she doesn't know this but this is actually a hake competition i've got two she's got none oh, okay <laughs> well who has the one that we're gonna eat <laughs> no comment so what are you most excited about being being up here doing i don't know just i want to see a bluefin tuna if I could just see a group of them, I don't know. I've heard about it a lot. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I've seen Instagram posts, but I've never, I want to see like the sheer power of them. Oh, I just got a bite. That's a pretty awesome rod and reel you got there. <laughs> we just picked this up at Walmart for about 25 bucks. What do we got here? <laughs> we got us a pier special. What do we got? Uh... <laughs> That's the smallest striper. Dang. Little guy. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Pretty fish. Yeah. Almost purple to the stripes. That is a beautiful fish. Alright. That's a... Uh, Maybe I should two. put the camera down and start fishing again. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is how it works. Austin's my cameraman. Degum Jesse Berg's our babysitter slash nanny slash travel around with us and help us with the girls slash family friend who we just love, so she comes and hangs out everywhere with us. Fly is here as moral support. I've caught two what the hecks, and this is... But guess what? We have one that will be going back to the house getting eaten, and we only have like one or two more pieces of bait, so... <laughs> We'll see, but tomorrow morning is a whole new situation. All right, you guys, so check this out. <laughs> the knife handle's broken, but uh, and it's pretty much dull, but we're gonna do our best. Got us a nice striper here, provided by Jesse. Come down here. What, how awesome is this? We <laughs> just come down here and bust up a fish real quick. Only time I've ever eaten a striper was years and years ago in Cape May, New Jersey, and they were pretty delicious. So this is very exciting for me. Look how white that meat is. It's just amazing how nice this meat is. Look at that. Pretty meat. Take this. Beautiful. Let's do that one more time, y'all. All right, you guys, it is T minus 
just a few hours and we're gonna be tuna fishing. But uh, look at that. It doesn't matter if you're out catching giant bluefin tuna or on the pier hunting for some fun fish. Fishing is fishing. And what a great day, what a great way to start our trip. I'm gonna cut out the bloodline, gonna cut out the um, pin bones. Gonna be left with just a bunch of nice fish. And we'll cut it into nice little pieces like that. Ooh, there's a couple little bones there. You always wanna be careful, especially when you have children for bones. Trim them off. Good. Good, good, good. Do the same thing there. Now we'll throw some butter in there. Throw some butter in here. Probably not that much. I don't need that much butter. I love butter, but I don't need that much butter. Then we'll put just a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, we just looked in the in the cupboard here. They got some of this. It's called Slap Ya Mama. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to be cooking fish when I came up here. Otherwise, I'd have brought my, some of my own spices, some of my Everglades. But do what you gotta do with what you got. I'm so excited right now, y'all. Life is good, man. Life is so good. This is one of the most simple ways you can cook fish, but at the same time, it comes out just amazing. I wish I had maybe some lemon would be good, or maybe even a little white wine to throw in there. But I think it'll be fine just the way it is. Here's the woman of the hour. She's been getting everybody ready and all, getting the heroes ready. So honey, what are you most excited about? What are you most looking forward to going tuna fishing? Getting in the fighting chair. Getting in the fighting chair? Yeah. What are you doing, Ariana? So Jesse, what's your most excited, what do you most like about coming up here and being a part of this with us? Really, I'm just excited to see the country. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and see the leaves. Because we are not used to seeing the leaves change. <laughs> right. And what are you most excited about? The fish. The fish? Oh, man. I mean, this this should empower you to want to go catch a fish, clean it, and cook it. Because I didn't have any of my good gear. I didn't have any of my good knives. I didn't know what we were fishing for. I didn't even know how we were gonna fish. I just, we just went and did it. Next thing you know, we got delicious fish in the frying pan. Is this your first striper you ever caught? It is. There it's you my go. First one. Are you? Do you want a piece of fish? Yeah. Here. Oh, I don't know how many. Okay, we may have to go a little more in depth on the whole striper situation. That's just phenomenal. Awesome job cutting that fish. That's awesome. I don't know if y'all can see that our light just died, but look how good that is. That's amazing. It's you amazing. want more, baby? Did you put butter on that or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Butter and olive oil, that's okay, it. Okay, that's good. It's got a hint mm -hmm. of like haddock taste to it, doesn't it? With the butter? Like it's a firm haddock? Mm -hmm. Don't you think, babe? Got it? That's seven. mind blowingly good. That's Don't you think so? Though? It's like a firm haddock. I'm here, it's hold like it. I, I'm glad we cooked the butter the light. Oh my gosh. All right, hey. Tomorrow's going to be a huge day, but that's all I got for you right now, you guys. We are in just a glorious spot. So beautiful. Honey pie, I love you. I love you too, babe. Jesse, thanks for coming up here. We appreciate all of your work. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, we couldn't do this without all of them. We couldn't do it without all of y'all. That's all I got for you tonight. Take care. God bless.